We all experience frustration from time to time, especially when we feel stuck in a rut or our efforts seem in vain. It's possible to break out of this cycle, to make progress in your life and to move towards your aspirations. Listen, frustration can creep in in many forms, from small annoyances to major obstacles that seem unsurmountable. So we'll be discussing some strategies to help you break free of the grip of frustration and hopefully reclaim your peace of mind. Before you can effectively address your frustration, you need to pinpoint its root cause. Is it a specific situation or a person or is it just a personal aspect in your life? By understanding what's triggering your frustrations, you can create a targeted solution in order to get rid of it. For example, you could be feeling frustrated because you've been working super hard at a certain goal, yet you know the days go by and you still see no progress. None. Zero. Whatever it is, just make sure that you can find the origin of the frustration that you are feeling. Listen, sometimes we just cannot change the situations that are causing us frustration. In these cases, it's important to accept it and let go of what it is that's causing us that frustration. Focus instead on how you choose to react to the situation and eventually adapt to it. I'll give you an example. Let's say a friend of yours stopped answering your texts for some reason. Yeah, it may cause some frustration or even some anxiety, but chances are he simply got something important going on with his life. And guess what? There's nothing you can do about it. So what's the solution here? Well, I would suggest that you keep sending texts to that person until he finally answers. Nah, I'm just playing. Just don't beat yourself up about it. Cause there will be times where you literally cannot do anything, okay? And it's got nothing to do with you. They're probably just having a bad day, that's all. So accept things for what they are and move on. Take a few moments each day to center yourself and ultimately, you know, cultivate inner peace. This way you can always stay on top of your feelings. It could be as easy as just, you know, closing your eyes while you're waiting for the bus or, you know, even the subway. Whatever it is, the objective is that you can kind of, you know, reset what you are feeling. You could even try something like meditation. I've actually started meditating around about a month ago. Um, there are some pretty good positives to it. I've actually thought about doing a video um, just on meditation. I'm not sure if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, but yeah, just let me know in the comments if you are interested. Don't be afraid to reach out to friends, family or a professional counselor. Talking about frustration with others can provide valuable insights for you. It's not for everyone though. Me, for example, I personally prefer to just deal with my own stuff um, alone, you know, just going for a run and it's just me and my own thoughts. Um, so yeah, I recommend you kind of play with it, see which, which one adapts to you better and then just go with that one. Remember to take care of yourself physically and mentally. Engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation, whether it's going for a walk practicing a hobby or even just enjoying a little treat, you know. And as I said, if you do find yourself feeling frustrated about something or about someone, just channel that energy into physical exercise. At least that's the way I personally prefer, you know, it's a personal favorite of mine. And you could just go for a run, play a sport you like, whether it's hockey or, I don't know, football, wh whatever your, your thing is. Just try to try to channel that energy into something good. Let's recap. We begin by diving into the root causes of frustration, recognizing that pinpointing its origin is key to devising effective solutions. Whether it stems from stalled progress or even just personal challenges, identifying the source empowers us to take targeted action. Moving forward, we embrace the concept of acceptance, a powerful tool on regaining our grip on circumstances that are just out of our control. So, by reframing our perspectives and 
focusing on our responses rather than just futile attempts to alter the unchangeable, we reclaim control over our emotions. Mindfulness emerged as a cornerstone against frustration. Through simple practices such as deep breathing or even meditation, you can anchor yourself in the present moment. Moreover, we explore the potential of seeking support from our social networks. By opening up to trusted friends or family, we not only gain valuable insights, but also share some experiences. Finally, we underscore the importance of self-care. Whether indulging in favorite hobbies or channeling frustration into productive endeavors, self-care ends up serving kind of like a beacon amongst life's trials. And that's about it for today. Um, that was a lot of information for around about 8 minutes or so, but I truly hope you were able to take some of that in. I know it's easy for us to get frustrated, especially if you have like big goals and you don't see as much progress as you'd like to. But at the end of the day, you know, it's just, it's just part of the journey. We just gotta take it in the face and, and keep moving. But yeah, guys, as I was finishing up, I actually forgot to do the outro. So if you did enjoy the video, please leave it a like and subscribe if you're not already. I've even got this little thing. Look at this. How cute is that? <laughs> it was gifted to me. Um, but yeah, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, peace.